What's up Airsofters, it's question time. What do you look for in pistol upgrades? Comment in the section below with all of your first choices for pistol upgrades, whether it be external or internal, and why you suggest those suggestions. Let's get into this review. Another week it will be not. What's up Airsofters? This is the all new EMG Strike Industries ARC Gas Blowback Pistol. You know, Strike Industries is really well known in the firearms industry for producing forward-thinking futuristic designs for the AR-15 rifle and the Glock pistol platform. Since 2011, Strike Industries has been continuously developing products for these platforms that really push the boundaries in terms of uh, lightweight reliability. And now, Strike Industries has partnered with EMG to produce the airsoft gas blowback version of their real Strike Industries ARC pistol. The ARC pistol comes packaged with one magazine and a small bag with two countersunk screws and O-rings in it. These are to secure an RMR on top of the slide. Reference the video manual for instructions on how to do that. Speaking of, all EMG pistols come with this certificate of authenticity, which has a QR code on the back. Scan this code to be directed to your video instruction manual. The Strike Industries ARC comes apart just like any other Glock style airsoft pistol. As stated, it's a Tokyo Marui compatible system, so upgrade parts are plentiful and available right here on our website. Here's a look at the adjustment screw for the trigger over travel. The hop-up is easily adjusted with the dial on the underside of the hop-up unit, like many other gas blowback pistols. As you can see, we're out at our outdoor testing facility. Got a whole bunch of mags. Let's put this baby through its paces. Really snappy right out of the box, but I think it's worth talking about some of the design and ergonomics externally before we head inside and talk about the internals. Externally, while it does look very similar to many other striker fired designs, it's really unique in terms of all of the changes that have been made to the slide and the frame. The frame in particular is extremely comfortable and has a lot of really thought out details. And that's due in part to the collaboration of the real Strike Arc GBB or Strike Arc pistol in real life uh, between Polymer 80 and Strike Industries. They've given you a slightly more forward angled grip with a Timberwolf style extended beaver tail, as well as a double undercut of the trigger guard, giving you a really high grip on an otherwise pretty standard grip angle. They've also given you a ton of places to rest your fingers and thumbs. On the passenger side or where your trigger finger would usually rest for a right-handed shooter, you've got a really nice finger rest up here. Make sure that you don't slip down and you're definitely being safe while not firing the pistol. And on the other side, they've mirrored that section to give you a great place to rest your thumb when you drive the pistol and give yourself a lot more control. I really like the futuristic texturization and positioning of all of the facets on the pistol. It makes for a very comfortable shooting experience and a really controllable shooting experience. That overall is one of my favorite things about this pistol. Of course, you've got the ubiquitous 20 millimeter accessory rail up front for all of your attached accessories. One thing I really like about this P80 style grip as well, as there's a lot of meat here. So even if you didn't love this grip right out of the box, there's plenty of meat here to add your own stippling and customization. Time to shoot off some more shots. You know, as I fire this, I'm reminded how much I love 
this slide and all of the things they've changed on the top side of this really cool looking pistol. Starting off, you've got a lightweight aluminum slide that they've really milled out, lightened, and given you a lot of really cool ports on the top that not only enhance its looks, but also lighten the slide even further to give you a really snappy, fast cycling action. Further back, we've also got a red dot sight cut out of the box with a blanking plate. So if you don't choose to use one, you've got the blanking plate there so you don't get this weird notch in the slide. And I love that they've included that. But just including that doesn't make for a good shooting pistol. They wanted to make sure that it was still easy to get a sight picture. And they've done that by raising the sights to a suppressor height sight, giving you options like adding on a threaded barrel adapter so you could put on a mock suppressor or tracer unit and still be able to use your sights even when you do put on a red dot on the top. As you can see, we've done that here. We've thrown on a tracer unit or mock suppressor. We also threw on one of our favorite lights as well as a red dot sight. And as you can see, not only are the sights still usable over top the red dot and the suppressor, all of those added accessories make this an absolutely killer sidearm for use in CQB, indoor, and even low light situations where you need to acquire a target very quickly. One other thing I'll say about the slide is they've got some really aggressive deep cut serrations uh, on the back of the slide and right here at the very front. The reality is though, with all of the lightning cuts, do you really need serrations? Because this thing, you can rack for days. Let's take a minute to talk about one of my favorite features on the ARC gas blowback pistol and that's the trigger. Now, I'll be the first to say that I'm not the biggest fan of striker-fired triggers. Oftentimes, they're mushy or they're stiff, and they don't allow for a lot of adjustment in airsoft. But this bad boy right here gives you all of the things that you look for in a trigger. First, it's got a really positive stop. And I mean, if you don't intend to pull the trigger, you're not defeating that safety. Unless your finger is 100% on the trigger, pulling the safety, and then releasing the pistol. Also, let's talk about reset. It's a nice, pronounced click. And it's really nice to be able to hear when your pistol is reset because follow-up shots become that much faster. Finally, let's talk about the wall because that matters in real life as well as airsoft. Now the wall is nice and pronounced. There is a decent amount of take up, but a noticeable wall and a nice, crisp break. So reset, take up, break, take up, break. The targets are so afraid they're falling on their own. I really, really like this trigger and I think you'll be equally impressed with how nice it feels. But the feeling doesn't just end there. Internally, which we'll get to inside, there is an adjustment for over travel. So once the trigger breaks and it's fired, you don't have extra mush at the backside of the trigger that's wasted time before your follow-up shot. And this is one of the only times I've seen that in a striker fired pistol in Airsoft. I really like it. We're gonna go ahead and do our accuracy test from here. One thing I did wanna mention is mag compatibility. Now, because this is a TM compatible system, you've got a wide range of magazines to choose from. Everything from WeTech to Elite Force to EMG, SAI, all are compatible with this bad boy. And to illustrate that, I've got a Elite Force extended magazine. Nice and snappy. And I've also got a Salient Arms Blue magazine to illustrate cross compatibility. As you can see, they both feed and shoot beautifully, even though they're not the original magazines. Mag compatibility is fantastic, which means you can add this to your arsenal without having to worry about changing mags. Now then, let's do an accuracy test. I gotta say, Without adjusting the hop up, or cleaning the barrel, or changing anything, these sights at this distance are right on. And it's easy to drill the A zone on a target. This thing is a fantastic, accurate pistol right out of the box. And because it is compatible with all TM compatible upgrades for this style of pistol, doing upgrades like your barrel, your hop up bucking, and things like that, 
can only increase that accuracy even more. As is the custom, we've got our X-Cortec chronograph set up here to do our chrono test. I've got two O's loaded in the magazine with a fresh load of green gas. Let's see how it does. So we're right in the neighborhood of over 300 to about 310 once the gas settles a little bit. Excellent FPS for indoor play and a little heavier weight BB like a 2.5, you'll get plenty of distance at the majority of the distances that you'll be engaging people with a sidearm. You know, with all of the things that make this pistol as cool and as functional as it is, there are kind of two things that keep standing out to me that I really don't like all that much. The first being the mag release. Yeah, it's a pretty standard mag release and it's in a pretty standard location. And they've done a wonderful job of protecting the mag release button so that you don't get accidental mag drops. Unfortunately, because of that protection, because of the shape of the grip, it's not that easy to press. And I've got size nine, 10 hands. So you might also find that to be a bit of a problem when you go to release your magazine. My suggestion would be for the aftermarket scene to really make this pistol even better by offering an upgraded extended mag release. Because this is a race style pistol, I think that would look right at home. And an enhanced mag release would give you a lot more functionality when doing quick mag changes in the CQB field. The other thing that I wish was a little different is as futuristic as this frame and slide are, there aren't a whole lot of holsters this, that this fits in. In fact, through all of our testing, I really only found one that kind of fit at the time of the filming of this video, and that was a Blade Tech. I'd love to see somebody like MC Kydex or QVO come up with a, a custom holster for these to allow you to use a tack light, so a tack light mounted option or no tack light and give you a way to use this pistol on the field with a holster that isn't necessarily a soft holster. Although that is an option, there's just something romantic and cool about hard shell Kydex style holsters. That's really the only qualms I have with this awesome pistol. With its innovative ergonomic design and super lightning cuts on the slide, you can tell that all of the design philosophies that strike embodies are present here on the ARC gas blowback pistol. So if you're looking for a pistol that's ultra lightweight, super snappy, and will dominate in the CQB arena, the speed soft game, or really anytime you need a fast, quick shooting and accurate pistol, then the Strike Industries ARC gas blowback pistol is the pistol for you. Check it out in all three colors right here at evic.com. If you haven't followed us on social media yet, we've got a bunch of different ways you can join in on the conversation here at evic.com. Facebook and Instagram are awesome places with incredible comment sections with helpful hints and product photos, as well as our YouTube right here, sending you guys the latest videos, reviews, and exciting content in the world of Airsoft. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you aren't being alerted to our newest videos, click the bell icon as well. As always, play hard, play safe, play responsibly. See you later. Get it while it's hot. Cause in another week it will be not.